guys, the song Ironic popped up on the radio, so I started thinking about irony. I also started thinking about death, because who doesn't it when we start thinking about death? That just me? Okay, moving on. So here it is, the top 10 ironic ways people have died. Jimmy Hazelden, the owner of the Segway Company, was testing out a new model on his grounds in 2010. He drove straight off a cliff into a river. He died. If only he was the owner of the Sea-Doo Jet Ski Company. In 2014, a plane crashed into Wichita's Mid-Continent Airport. More specifically, the building used to train pilots to fly planes. Three people using the plane simulator died in an actual plane crash. Mel Ignato murders a woman in 1988 by binding her to a glass coffee table and beating her to death. In 2008, he tripped and fell on a glass coffee table, cutting himself. He bled to death. This is why if you beat someone to death, which you should not do, do not beat anyone to death, but if you insist, bind them to an air mattress or some other soft piece of furniture that you can't cut yourself on 20 years later. Okay? First Emperor of China, Qin Shi Wang, was obsessed with trying to prolong his life. In 210 BC, his alchemist made pills that were supposed to make him immortal, made out of mercury. He died. The belief that mercury made you live longer was actually fairly common in ancient China. What if something we think makes us live longer now is actually killing us? I am never eating nuts again. In 1911, Bobby Leach went over Niagara Falls' 180 foot drop with minor injuries. Fifteen years later, he tripped and fell four feet, breaking his leg. It got infected and he had to get amputated. He died from complications two months later. The New Orleans lifeguards threw a party in 1985 to celebrate the fact that nobody had drowned in any pool all summer. The body of a guest at the party, Jerome Moody, was found at the bottom of the pool. There were four lifeguards on duty, and almost 200 lifeguards attending the party. How does someone drown and go unnoticed? Whoa, this dude's drowning! And I'm off duty. Li Si, the chancellor of the Qin dynasty in 300 BC, created the five pains execution method. First, the victim's forehead would be branded. Then their nose would be cut off. Then their feet were cut off. Then he was castrated. Then they were executed. Following Qin Shi Huang's death, Li Si was executed under this very method. I bet his last thoughts were, Why did I make such a painful execution method? No wait, scratch that. They were probably, Ah! Ow! 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 People who eat healthy usually live longer than average. Usually. In 1974, Basil Brown died from drinking carrot juice. A gallon a day. For ten days. He ended up with severe vitamin A poisoning and orange skin. He died from trying to be healthy. This is why I only drink iced tea. Oh wait, you can get kidney failure from that, never mind. Convicted murderer Michael Anderson Godwin was awaiting the electric chair in 1985. Before his sentence could be carried out, however, he tried to fix his headphones by biting the cord on a metal toilet. Needless to say, he was electrocuted. What a responsible prisoner, executing himself. Fagilu Mukametsinov was declared dead of a heart attack in 2011, but she was not dead. She woke up to mourning relatives filing past her coffin and was shocked. So shocked, in fact, that she died of a heart attack. This time for real. This might happen to you. So, whatever you do, do not get cremated. Do not get cremated, okay? Because that is just disturbingly painful. Do not do that. Now that, that was probably the most ironic death of all time. Like, the only death more ironic would be if I died while making this video. Anyways, be sure to like, comment, and sub.